Yo, what's up? 0800 Leo fam, what's good, what's poppin'? I'm Khalid Omari and welcome to Khalidism. Um, I don't know, I haven't done like a vlog thing that wasn't about like some form of technology and equipment. And I kind of wanted to bring it back to the essence. Like the reason why I started up this kind of YouTube channel was because I started getting comfortable in front of a camera again. And also, um, I was on a journey to... I don't know, like, do some of the stuff that I'm interested in more in the open. And through doing that, I've kind of, I don't know, you kind of go off on tangents. Oh, soz. You kind of go off on tangents and whatnot. But um, a decision I made, say, a few months ago was to try, because I don't know, this is what happened. This is the story, right? So I saw... An advert for a Mont Blanc pen and I think like they're like hella crazy silly pens that people collect so I thought right I've always seen these things let me click on this advert because it was like um it was like a e Egyptology edition in certain circles they don't like Egyptology because it's you know you know yeah if you go down that rabbit hole you'll discover a lot but anyway so it was like an Egypt edition. I've always been interested in ancient Egypt. Even as a child, I had an argument with one of my teachers who didn't believe that the ancient Egyptians were black. And this is when I was like, what, seven or eight or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And, um, but anyway, so I've seen this pen, click through the link and I've discovered the price of it. And I was like, rah, I didn't know that Mont Blanc pens were like this pricey. And ever since then, I've kind of had a mini infatuation with the pen. So I thought, you know, as someone that I write a lot and I write poetry or I, it used to be bars back in the day, like I've got all of my old lyric books underneath my desk. And I thought, you know what, one day I'm going to buy a pen and I want to buy a fountain pen. So I looked at the price of it and it was something like, I think, um, for a ballpoint pen, it was something like 500 for a rollerball it was 700 and for the fan in pen it's something like 11 to 1200 uh this is british pounds we're talking and it seems like a lot of money but i don't know in my older age or the older i get i like nice things but i like yeah i don't look at prices oh that's too much to spend on a pen or sometimes it's the sentiment that goes with it and so long story short i've been looking at these pens and whatnot and i thought before i jump into the mix and buy like a fountain pen or a ballpoint pen or stuff something i want to get back to writing things on paper and it has been a long time coming because i feel like when i journal or when i write poetry yeah I tend to write things and just forget about it and I miss the, the physical and mechanical act of like writing the ideas from my head down onto a piece of paper. So it was sometime like last month or maybe the last bit before that one Friday, I was like, you know what, I'm going to pop into Central, I'm going to buy a moleskin diary and I'm going to buy a fountain pen. Didn't know what fountain pen I was going to buy. You know, back in the day in school and stuff, it was Parker's was all the rage in it. So I ended up at Waterstones because I know that they sell moleskin diaries. And it probably didn't have to be a moleskin diary, but I always associate, even when I was going to uni, I always associate a moleskin diary with like, yeah, man, serious about this, isn't it? So I bought one of those and it was a red one and I got a fountain pen with it. I didn't, I don't know about or remember enough about fountain pens because ultimately my writing has been chicken scratch for a few years now or I've wrote in, I've written in graffiti but I found that I wanted to just practice the art of writing again because if I'm gonna buy a pen or in a, whether it be this year in a few years or wherever if I'm gonna buy this collectible expensive pen like I, I need to kind of enjoy writing and I feel like because writing is a special part of who I am today and how I've got to where I've got to, yeah, like throughout life and stuff, I thought for for my endeavour, 
of always processing life and significant events and getting through hard times with the pen and the pad, whether it was through bars and that turned into prose and that turned into poetry and that turned into blogging and everything you see me doing today started out with a pen because I always used to enjoy writing stories. I thought, yeah, man, why not treat myself to a nice pen and then, you know, eventually get a nice notepad and stuff like that because with everything being digital and online, it's not tangible. You know what I'm saying? I've got a lot of nephews, nieces, whoever. One day, who knows? Like, I may have children. And it's like, I can't pass down digital files. Or, for instance, if... I always had this mindset when I was writing bars anyway. And I know I'm going off on tangents here, but hey-ho. Like, I always used to have this mindset of, what if, like, you know... A thousand years from today, they found a bunch of my written works. You know, people would know what the this life and times was. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I collect significant cultural moments on vinyl. And it's almost as though, for the sake of convenience, I've lost... I've lost that sentiment by going digital with writing. Obviously, it's convenient... And I, and I know where the transition was. It was when I got a Blackberry, when I started writing bars on a Blackberry and poetry and stuff like that. Then that transitioned onto the iPhone with the Notes app. Yeah, and I know, I know that's where it is from because before that, I just used to write. And I think it was up until maybe like 2011 was maybe my last significant moments in, in writing on a pen and paper. So I just want to explore, you know what I'm saying? That's all... Man's trying to say, I just want to explore, like, what man's doing, so, um, let's see, because I've been bringing it to work with me, so this is the Moleskine notepad, I bought a red one in it, because I thought, yeah, this means business, and, like, I just bought a bog standard fountain pen, and it come with some ink, like this, I never ordered this, so I made, I made the, I made a conscious effort not to order it online. I made a conscious effort to actually make the journey to go into Central and purchase it physically. So that's what I done. I went to Blackfriars and I walked a very nice walk because it was hot that day to uh, Waterstones on Trafalgar Square. And I got the, the moleskin and the pen. So um, basically, Let's see. So I've just been journaling on and off. So this is what it was on the first day. And then I've kind of got the hang of it now. And this is what it was maybe on the second part. I don't know if you can read it. Hopefully I ain't saying anything too scandalous. And then now I've got the hang of. I've got the hang of it now. So this is what it is now. So it's like, man is, I haven't written any poetry yet. Like, I haven't written any poetry yet. But, yeah, man, I, I like, I like this. So, like I said, I've been taking it to work. And every day before work, I write down what my intentions are. Yeah, for the day, what I plan to do how I tend to do different things differently than the previous day. And I feel like it's been helping. Sometimes I'll revisit what I've written at lunchtime. Uh, other times I'll journal before I go to sleep or when I wake up just to say like, you know, what I'm thankful for and what I'm trying to do with the day. And I wrote down like what my goals would be for um, streaming and what my approach would be. And yeah, I haven't been journaling like digitally because I usually use day one and I haven't been journaling digitally for a while. Yeah. And I don't know. I'm just I just want to be more physical with things again. And maybe that stems from, you know, having the SP404 Mark II or even the Akai MPC Live. Like, I don't know, like being outside of a computer and outside of cloud and all of that stuff like. Maybe I just wanted to take it back to pen and paper just to organise my thoughts again. But, yeah, that's me. and That's me. That's what I'm trying to do. So, let's see. 
It is a bit dark in here, to be honest. What's the date today? 21st. Saturday the 21st of May 2022. 21, That's the thing, man. Oh, Soz. That's the thing. You know when journaling, yeah? Man's in a zone, so... Like, basically, that's what it looks like. The handwriting's getting better. I can't lie. The handwriting's getting better. So, I just put... Uh, finished watching Barca lose the Champions League, which had me thinking that in life, you need to challenge yourself. You have to stretch your skill set by getting yourself in some uncomfortable situations, otherwise you will get rolled over. When you lose, you almost win too because it's where you get up and learn from the mistakes. You can regroup and return better than ever. That's what I'm aware of at the moment. I learned from Leon or Leon. I learned from Leon, that you have to go for it and fight for what you want. When everyone is counting you out, you haven't got to prove them wrong, but let the level of game you play do all the talking. I'm feeling so inspired right now. It also made me reflect. Um, also made me reflect that I won't be buying any more equipment as I have everything I need to generate ideas. I won't invest in a mic or a mixer. I will just save up and put more, no, and put money and time aside to go to the studio to record and mix ideas. That's Pirate Studios. That's going to be the way as when I'm indoors, I don't feel as inspired. I feel restricted often by the environment and even when it comes to who's in. Too many distractions. That's the pledge I shall make to myself. No more distractions, whether that be gym, fitness or music and writing. I just got to go hard at it, even at work, uh, to a large degree. The question is, how do I live life to the fullest whilst also being balanced and progressing in all areas? It's possible, but I just need to start doing it. Not caring, just doing. Holidays, events, hobbies, just pursuing experiences and elevating, saving and everything in balance. Peace. So yeah, that's journaling. I like using a fountain pen, it's nice. It feels, you know what I'm saying? It feels like man's in the 1800s. But yeah, but that's me. Um, 0800 Yo Fan, what's good, what's popping? I'm Callism, and um, yeah, what's good? Peace.